the Keeper must restore. I will begin the ritual. Welcome, Keeper. I am the Oracle. My link with Elder Vanith is gone. My greatest servant is dead. I have summoned you to keep the balance. The people see demons in the wilderness. Evil spirits that hate and kill. You must restore the balance. Speak to the druids of the grove. They will aid you. Go. Stop these demons before they consume our world. Hey everyone, it's Chris here. I wanted to give you just a few quick impressions of a game that I picked up for the Oculus Go uh, last night and I was able to play for about an hour to an hour and a half uh, with about a 50% charge on my headset before I had to take a little break and plug it in. Um, but I'm really digging it. It's called The Well and if you're an, a frequent user of the Go and I think it's maybe even available on Gear VR, I believe, yep. Um, then you've probably heard of this, um, but maybe haven't played it. Um, so I've got some gameplay footage uh, that I've included here for my session last night. Um, but for the price of $5, you're getting uh, what I think is an RPG experience that really transa translates well into um, VR. It's accessible. It's not overly complex, um, which is good given uh, what I think are some limitations of VR. In terms of navigating menus, uh, trying to go through the multitude of options that would typically characterize an RPG, you know, if you think of something like Final Fantasy or uh, anything more traditional, then there's a lot you have to work through in a controller, a traditional video game controller, whether it's on Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo, would work well for that. Um, but the Oculus Studios have done a good job of making this a very uh, easy to jump into experience. And it is turn-based, uh, as you'll see as you sort of uh, watch this, this gameplay footage unfold. Um, but it uh, is enjoyable, and it's immersive. Um, one thing about it that I think is, is handled fairly well, too, is um, the way you walk in the game. And so, you know, you'll see that you can push forward and move to either side, and it, it sort of teleports you quickly. It's not a true teleport in the sense that there's not a blink and you're there. Uh, effect to it but it is really really fast almost to that to that same extent but it works you know I was a little bit worried that I would endure some motion sickness in trying to uh, get used to that but I really didn't have that issue at all which was nice um, and you know the effect of the creatures that are in the world um, the wilderness that's got kind of this cell shaded effect that's not all that dissimilar from something like Okami or Breath of the Wild perhaps um, works well you know it's not overwhelming but it is uh, immersive which is obviously what you want with VR so you know my understanding is that the whole thing lasts for around 10 hours if I'm remembering what I read correctly so I think for five dollars it's absolutely worth picking it up um, even if you're not a huge fan of RPGs and you know I tend to prefer action RPGs. The turn-based effect uh, is, some, uh, is sometimes something that I enjoy, um, but I like action RPGs, uh, Zelda games, and, and those types of uh, offerings, and even things like uh, Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, which is kind of an XCOM approach. But um, for somebody who doesn't play a ton of turn-based RPGs, I find it really enjoyable so far. Um, so much so, in fact, that I was thinking about how immersive of an experience it was uh, while I was at work today um, and how I couldn't wait to jump back into that world. And so tonight I'm going to dig into it a little bit more. Um, and, you know, given the fact that the Go battery, even though you can, uh, you know, I guess technically plug it in while you're using it or hook up a battery pack and extend uh, the experience that way um, uh, to make it last, but given that it's you know typically a two to three hour thing, at most you know especially with something that's graphically intensive, uh, and, and it does actually the Go does have an update that they've rolled out which allows the battery to last a little bit longer, but it kind of dumbs down the visuals which I do not like. So I'm going to play it you know maxed out on the visuals as much as I can. But uh, given that it takes that long to get through. Uh, uh, or that you've got about two hours to get through the battery. It's going to take you know a week or more to actually finish the game, um, assuming that the difficulty ramps up. 
one thing I will say about it is that, you know, from what I've played so far, it's not a hard game. Um, and I'm not sure if that's the developers just trying to make it as enjoyable as possible um, from that perspective for, for, you know, what is really, in my, in my understanding, one of the first true RPG experiences in virtual reality. Um, but it'll be interesting to see if it gets more difficult and how much more demanding it gets as time goes on. Um, but as it is right now, I have no qualms at all about the price that they're asking for. $5 is a great value for what you get. It's one of the best things that I've played on the go so far. Um, there are some other games out there that I think uh, are really well made, but there's just something about this one that has drawn me in and has been good so far. Now, you know, who's to say what it'll look like, you know, five hours, six hours, seven hours into the gameplay or into the story, but so far it's interesting and it, and it works well. Um, there were a couple of instances at the start of the game where I, I had some trouble navigating the menus, just not being entirely sure um, what to click on or where to go, but those kind of resolved themselves through just a little bit of trial and error, less than a minute of doing that to figure it out. And you can see some of that in the footage, but um, yeah, I think it's totally worth it. Uh, if you've got a Go or you've got a Gear VR, give it a look, see what you think. Um, once I finally get through it, maybe I'll have a full review, but for now, definitely worth your $5, I would say. That's it for today. I'll be back with another video very soon. Thanks for watching.